Hi. Okay, so Wellness Wednesdays. There can be an infinite amount of wellness tips out there that will only be more suffocating and more debilitating if you can't implement them and if you can't put them into practice. I have always struggled with a divide between what I want to do and what I think I should do and what I actually end up doing. Um, I've even noticed a correlation between putting something on my to-do list and my schedule and it's seeming to act like a hex <laughs> where I will not do it because um, I say I'm going to do it. So I have a very strong inner rebel that doesn't like the authority of must do, should do, need to do. And I have found that gradually implementing small steps has taken me out of this paralysis or indecision or procrastination or a shame spiral where I keep not doing or doing things I don't want to do and then regretting it and why do I keep doing this? So I have found that small steps towards the thing is the answer and I recently heard Jim Quick who wrote Limitless say it in a really interesting way that I found very memorable and I, um, I continue to apply it, which is floss one tooth. If you want to become someone that flosses your teeth every night, just commit to flossing one tooth. And nobody is gonna stop flossing at one tooth. Once you're there, you have the floss in your hands, you sort of like see the stuff that comes out and you're like, ew, gross, but oh God, it feels good to get that out of there. You're probably gonna to wanna to finish flossing your teeth. Um, it's the same way I started meditating a year ago. No, year and a half, I guess. Is it almost two years? I can't even keep track. I never thought I could be a meditator. My dad is a meditation teacher. He was a Buddhist monk. Um, I decided I would meditate every day when I was 10 years old. It lasted a week. So I have a history of not meditating, um, despite knowing all about the benefits of why to do it. And I just started meditating one minute a day. Best thing I've ever done. Um, it has created a chain reaction of positive changes in my life just like over the last two years just snowballed astronomically to the point where I now have a business spiritually advising people because I started meditating with one minute. So I'm only sharing things with you that I'm still applying now and I still get um, that little rebel in me that will look at my to-do list and find a way to be very productive, but just do the things that I'm not doing. Um, just, just sorry, to just do the, I'm just end up doing a whole bunch of stuff that was not what was on my list, was not what I intended to do. So I don't, I don't struggle with not doing things. I don't struggle with being, um, you know, just sitting around and doing nothing and procrastinating. I just do a lot of stuff that's not the stuff that I always, intended to do that that felt like the most priority. So find your version of flossing one tooth and don't try and like do everything all at once. Like I'm going to exercise every day and, I, and I'm, you know, I'm only going to eat vegetables and I'm not going to eat sugar and da da da. But find the smallest version of a change you want to make. And that can sometimes be removing something and that can sometimes be adding something. So if you're ever removing something, let's say you want to reduce how much sugar you're eating, um, you could just implement one small change that's like, okay, when I crave sugar, I'm going to have a glass of water or I'm going to eat some fruit. And then in 15 minutes, if I still want to eat refined sugar, I will. That's just like a one small thing you can commit to. Just creates a little bit of distance between you and the compulsive behavior. Another one is Let's say there's something that you've been putting off doing. You want to, 
you know, email a family member back. You, you know, you want to give someone a call and see how they're doing. Um, you want to add a kind of a spiritual activity to your day, you know, doing something for self-care. Just make that thing less monumental. Do a less good a job of it because perfectionism is the, you know, bride of um, procrastination. They're like married together. And I, I know that I have put off um, a, an email to someone because I want to make it big and I want to make it long and I want to make it deep and I want to make it profound and I want them to feel this way and I want to leave this impact. It would be so much more powerful if I, and I will, I will do this with you. I will commit to just emailing that person with one sentence. I can, I can write the email, I will email you later. I, I'm just trying to find the time, but thinking of you. One sentence, and I'll probably end up writing more, and it'll probably take five minutes. So whatever the thing is that's weighing on you and it's gnawing at your mind and you keep thinking about it as something that you wanna do for yourself or you wanna do for somebody else, and you know it'll feel empowering and it'll make you feel good and um, it's gonna raise your level. Um, just start with the one tooth version, the one minute version, the one sentence version, and just the act of showing up is already so empowering and you've already paved the way for the next time that you show up where you can add a little more and it's a little bit less daunting. So think of me as you floss your one tooth and I wish you a wonderful Wednesday of increasing wellness, not the perfect way, but just moving in the right direction.